The Tall Friend, a Thomas and Friends story. A new safari park was opening, and all the engines had important jobs to do. Percy and Edward's trucks were full of food for the animals. I'm taking the tallest animal to the park, puffed Thomas excitedly. The other engines tried to guess what it could be. It was a giraffe. All the engines wished with wonder. Thomas couldn't wait to show the children the tallest animal on Sodor. You must wait for the giraffe keeper, said Cranky. But Thomas was in too much of a rush and he puffed away. Thomas puffed happily along with the giraffe, but it wasn't long before they came to a low bridge. Sit down, Mr. Giraffe, Thomas chuffed, but the giraffe didn't want to sit down, so they couldn't fit under the bridge. Thomas heard a whistle. It was Gordon. Out of the way, Gordon tooted crossly. You must get the keeper. The giraffe will do what he tells him. No, I can manage, puffed Thomas, and he reversed into a siding. Then Edward chuffed up with his trucks full of rosy red apples. The apples gave Thomas an idea. Perhaps the giraffe would get sleepy and sit down if he ate some apples. The giraffe liked Edward's apples. He ate and ate and ate, but he didn't sit down. Edward was upset that all his apples had been eaten. You must go back and get the keeper, Thomas, Edward puffed crossly. Thomas was worried. The fat controller was waiting for him and he still couldn't get under the bridge. Just then, Percy puffed along with a truck full of leaves. Thomas thought the giraffe might sit down if he ate some of the leaves. The giraffe loved the leaves. He munched and munched until there were none left. And then, finally, he sat down and closed his eyes. He's asleep, peeped Thomas at last. We can go under the safari bridge to the safari park. Thomas clickety-clacked along the track and under the bridge all the way to the safari park. The fat controller was there and he was cross. There were no apples and no leaves for the animals to eat and the tallest animal was fast asleep. I'm sorry, sir. Wished Thomas, I should have waited for the keeper. Thomas puffed his fastest to fetch the keeper and take him to the park, and then he chuffed away to get more apples and more leaves. When Thomas finally puffed back into the safari park, the giraffe was wide awake. He heard Thomas toot and stretched out his long neck to his new friend. Welcome to Sodor, Mr. Giraffe, peeped Thomas happily. It's a wonderful place to live. The end.